Okay, so a card for your person. Pisces person. The Knight of Swords. And then for you. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Judgment for your person. And then for you. This one to come out. The Three of Swords in reverse. That's for your person. The Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. And then for you. The Knight of Pentacles. The Moon for the overall shared mutual feelings. And the Queen of Pentacles with the Magician and the Nine of Wands. I felt like taking all three. Usually I don't, but my intuition told me to do so. And I feel like it was absolutely right. Um, I see clear and simple sabotage from your person. Your person sabotaged this connection. Okay? And I'll tell you why. So with the Knight of Swords, okay, usually talks about someone rushing in, okay? Um, but because this person's facing in the opposite direction, this person literally ran in the opposite direction or they rushed away from this, from this connection or they walked away, it seems like. And on your side with the Five of Pentacles, uh, so you felt you were left out of the cold, but because it's in reverse, you're trying to get over this sense of uh, being left out in the cold. And with the Three of Swords in reverse, uh, you're trying to get over the pain of the situation, the heartbreak that this caused, this person walking away, or what it seems like they rushed or ran away um, is what it seems like. Um, and um, it could have been a third party situation as well, okay? Uh, but this person sabotaged the connection is what I see. And with the judgment card, this person had to make a judgment call. And um, they chose to sabotage this connection with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So that talks about pain in relation to this Ten of Cups. So they felt like they could have achieved this Ten of Cups with you. But for some reason, they sabotaged it. Um, and it's possible they could have deliberately done so for whatever issue um, or whatever reasoning they had behind it. But definitely sabotaged. And for you to get the Ten of Swords next to the Ten of Cups is very unusual. Um, however, this person is, this could very well be nearing completion. So when I clarify this, I'll get a better understanding of what this really means. What's the significance of this Ten of Swords with this Ten of Cups? And then with you, however, you get the Nine of Pentacles, okay? And you're... Um, you could be taking your energy elsewhere or you could be receiving an offer from someone else. Um, this Knight of Pentacles, because you're facing in the opposite direction of this person. So you're definitely going to get over this fear of uh, being rejected. Uh, this fear. Of being, you're going to get over the sense of being rejected and this heartache. And you very well may be walking away from this situation. But uh, with, with a shared mutual... Um, feelings between the two of you it's the moon okay uh and that talks about secrets so something being hidden uh when we clarify that we'll get a better understanding of that but someone is definitely trying to manifest um something in this connection uh with the magician card and the queen of pentacles okay so somebody could be manifesting a commitment so when i get a clarification of that uh clarif when i clarify that i'll get a better understanding but with the Nine of Wands in reverse, someone's having difficulty getting over the heaviness of this situation. Okay, so let's start clarifying, clarifying because I'm extremely um, um, curious now about this situation. Why would this person sabotage something very good? Um, something uh, that could, had the potential to be beautiful. They made a judgment call. 
Could have been fear. Something. Okay. The Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords again. Oh, well, that's something unusual. The Queen of Cups talks about love and then pain. Could be you. But this person, you had a lot of love for this person. This person caused you a lot of pain. But this person also got the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Cups. So... Let's see. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords. Too many cards. The Queen of Swords. Um, this person had their guard up. Okay. They had their guard up. Um, very defensive. need another card for that. Why did they have their card up? This could also be referring to someone wanting to take their guard down and manifest a commitment here. Um, but they had their guard up. The Queen of Wands. They had their guard up towards you. They saw you as someone very um, sexy, beautiful, um, yet they still... Yeah, they still um, rushed in the opposite direction, is what I'm seeing. Definitely sabotage this connection. And it could also be uh, that they had a choice between two options as well. So Queen of Swords could be an, uh, another energy. And you could be showing up as a Queen of Wands here. So they could have had a choice between two. And so you felt this, you know, you're trying to get over the sense of rejection. So let's clarify that. The Five of Pentacles in reverse for you. This wanted to come out. The Nine of Wands. Left a lot of heaviness for you, that's for sure. You could have put up walls to, you could have put up walls to this person as well. Okay, with the Nine of Wands. The both of you could have had your guard up towards each other. But let me further clarify. Let's clarify the Judgment card. The Judgment card, yep. Yeah. Hmm. The Seven of Wands. Definitely could have had their guard up here. Um... This person had their guard up, you had their guard up. Let me get another card for that. Because I'm very curious about this situation. The Four of Cups in reverse. And um, even though they rushed in the opposite direction, it seems like they're still holding on to this connection, okay? And it's possible that they have to make a judgment call when it comes to this situation. Because um, I feel like them sabotaging this connection also causes this person a lot of pain, okay? Um, they have to make a judgment call about whether they want to um, fight for this connection or not with the Seven of Wands, okay? And with the Four of Cups in reverse, that tells me this person doesn't want to ignore this connection that they have with you. There's something being hidden here, okay, with the Moon card. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm usually, I usually don't pull out that many cards to clarify. But this is a very curious... I'm very curious about this situation. Um, I'm feeling kind of nosy as to what's up with your person. So let's clarify the Three of Swords in reverse. Oh, this wanted to come. 
Um, the Ace of Pentacles. This person could very well, um, they could have been a player. And somehow um, that could be the reason why they rushed uh, off into another direction. Um, I think you intimidated them um, from what I see. Um, they were intimidated by you somehow. Because you're coming across as this queen of wands, right? Somebody very beautiful, sexy. And um, you threw this person off. But I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, something good is heading your way, whether it's with this person or not. But I feel like something very, something wonderful is heading your way with the Ace of Pentacles, something new. And again, with the Knight of Pentacles. So let's clarify the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Cups for your person. Three of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so there's mirroring going on here. So you got the Three of Swords. In, so this person, this when this person sabotaged this this uh, happy connection with you, this powerful connection with you, it caused them a lot of um, pain. Okay, uh, with the Ten of Swords, and with the Three of Swords in Reverse, this person's trying to get over this pain. Okay, that the situation uh, that this in this connection. Okay, and then the choices that they made. They could have had an option between two, okay? Um, but they definitely did not choose this special connection that they had with you. And they very well may have sabotaged this um, Ten of Cups with you. So it's interesting. Oh, this wanted to get... So you're, you're... It seems like you're done with the stagnancy when it comes to the situation. So with the hang... The hanging man in reverse um, that talks about you um, done with this sort of the stagnant situation um, and you may very well take whatever it is um, if you have to offer if you whatever offer you may want to take it towards someone else okay or an offer is heading in your direction because with the ace of pentacles I see something positive heading in your direction This could also be talking about something hidden, okay? So you're not being able to understand what's going on, truly going on. And with the moon card, that could further validate that something is being hidden here. So let's clarify the moon card. The five of cups in reverse. And this wanted to come out as well. The knight of swords, again. need another card for that i'm feeling nosy cancer sorry about that but your person is the two of cups in reverse uh, This person is trying to get over this uh, sense of heart. Because um, I feel like this is your person, the Knight of Swords, right? You could be dealing with an air sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But the Knight of Swords showed up twice, okay? I feel like you may not be aware that this person is getting over the, the heartbreak when it comes to the situation. Um, and they, it caused them a lot of pain, okay? Regrets. Uh, this person is trying to get over the sense of loss when it comes to the two of you. And with the two of cups in reverse, right? So the you, the two of you not being together. I feel like that's hidden and you may not be aware of that, but this person's feeling it. With the five of cups in reverse, okay? I'm glad I took out more clarifiers. Um, and then the knight of swords came out. Um, this is, seems like your person's energy here, okay? And this is hidden from you. That this person's in a lot of pain. There's regret. They sabotage something very beautiful. Uh, they didn't... They may have had an um, 
a choice between um, you and another person. And um, yep, they're trying to get over this pain of, and it seems like someone's trying to manifest a, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Uh, someone may very well um, take their guard down and may, uh, if they walked away, they're definitely heading back. They're trying to manifest some sort of commitment here. And then you get the Ace of Pentacles, right? So something new heading your way. Wow, this is interesting. Um, <laughs> I want to clarify some more. Um, I'm going to use a different deck. This seems like new energy, but your person may want to very well manifest something. I feel like this, I think your person's aware that they, because um, with the Four of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Wands, they may very well want to fight for this connection. Oh boy, look at that. When I cut the deck, the Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, somebody wanting to make a commitment. Somebody wanting to start off this passionate brand new beginning. And then the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Could be this person, could be something new. So let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Wow, again. You, the two of you are marrying each other. They got the Nine of Wands. And... Both of you had your guard up when it came to this connection, okay? Someone wants to take their guard down. Okay? You got the Ten of Swords. So there's a lot of tens here. So this talks about a completion of a cycle. So when you see repetitive tens, that's talking about something nearing completion. So I see a lot of tens here. I see a lot of nines, okay? Uh, for so for 9 to 10. So this could very well be the ending of a cycle between the two of you. But um, you're trying to get over the sense of loss or the sense of uh, being rejected or being left out on the cold. Um, you still have some work to do. And I feel like the both of you have some work to do. Uh, they're trying to get over the heartbreak or the pain of the situation. And you're trying to get over this pain, okay? That this connection has left you. Somebody wants to take their guard down, though. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands with the Four of Cups in reverse. The King of Pentacles. So didn't I cut the deck and then you saw the King of Pentacles at that, that time? This person wants to fight for this connection. This person wants to offer you a commitment. This very well could be this person wanting to offer you some sort of commitment. This brand new beginning. It's up to you whether you want to take it or not. Um, but it seems like this person definitely wants to offer you a commitment. And they have to make a judgment call when it comes to this. And I feel like with the Seven of Wands, they want to fight for this connection. And with the Four of Cups, they're choosing not to ignore this love anymore. Hmm. What an interesting read. Um, let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords in reverse. You may very well want to take your guard down as well. But I feel like you may not even want to hear from them. Because with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hanging Man in reverse, um, yeah, this is... With this Queen of Swords, this Queen of Swords is a little bit different from this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords really talks about someone having their guard up. You may not want to hear from this person with a Queen of Swords in reverse. Could You could very well be walking into something new or wanting something new. But this person is trying to manifest, so they definitely want to offer you some a, a commitment. They want to fight for this connection. But... I think I feel like the choice is yours. Um, let's clarify the Three of Swords in reverse. Too many cards, but this card wanted to come out. The Hangman, yeah, they're trying to they're trying to look at things from various perspectives. Okay, when it comes to this connection, before they make any move. So right now things are stagnant so it's possible you may not you may just you know you may just want something new 
the ten of holy smokes the ten of pentacles so you got the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles you're definitely walking into something wonderful okay something abundant something beautiful something new okay it could very well be this person but with the queen of swords in reverse it's possible you may reject them now it's your turn you may um not want to hear from them okay but this person's trying to manifest something when it comes to the situation and they want to take their guard down so let's clarify yep okay so somebody having to make a choice okay with the two of wands i feel like your person needs to make a choice it's possible they may they have already made a choice but uh, or they have to make a judgment call okay so let's clarify the seven of swords oh, let's see what it is Oh. the hair font in reverse yeah definitely um, talking about a spiritual connection someone not wanting to walk away from this connection somebody wanting to walk back into your life this person wants to fight for this connection they want to take their guard down when it comes to this situation and um, they're trying to manifest this commitment. So they're um, looking at things from various perspectives. However, in your situation, I feel like you're walking into something new, okay? And something very abundant. A um, lot of uh, good fortune here when it comes to your situation. But you may choose not to take this person's offer, okay? Um, and you could very well be turning your back to them and taking some other new offer that could be coming your way but i genuinely feel with the ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles there's definitely good things heading in your direction okay but i really feel like this person um is starting to understand that they they deliberately sabotage this this connection somehow um they could have been intimidated they had their guard up and they sa sabotaged this beautiful connection that they had with you. You got a lot of tens in this reading. So look, the ten of, uh, so this could very well be talking about the ending of a cycle. Oh, uh, uh, you know, definitely you could be walking into something new. You may choose to reject this person, but it's, ultimately it's up to you, right? And, and how you feel in regards to this person, whether you want to take them on their offer or not. But um, some definitely something wonderful heading your way, Cancer, okay? And you're, you're walking right into it. So that's my reading for you today. And I hope you got a little insight into this situation, into your person's situation and their feelings towards you. And um, I really see good things heading in your, your direction. You're definitely walking towards that. And it, ultimately, it's your choice whether you want to take this person's offer or not or embark on something brand new. Okay, so take care now. Bye.